key to get well in what? Uh, beer. Beer and cleanliness. Cleanliness. Clean, All right, so I'm here at uh, Trailblazer Film Studio. I'm welding these little V-band. They were originally turndowns because um, I ordered a set of shorty headers and they have a, a V-band flange and they're designed to like be a turndown so that you can connect to your exhaust system underneath the car. But since I flipped the headers upside down, I, they're pretty much going to be perfect for the twin turbo setup I'm running on the uh, IS. It's going to be upside down like that. That's directly on the header. And then a T3 flange will be just like that. And I have this kind of rigged up on a jig. Uh, he's He always has everything I need. He had like these magnets, a level. He's able to center it. He's got a pretty good welder. And I've never actually make welded, or actually I've, I've never welded any form of stainless in any shape or form. Like I've never <laughs> tried to. That should be the same, right? I, I don't know. I'm not a good welder, but I do good enough to make stuff stick. Um, but I know this is gonna be something that like everyone's gonna see. It's gonna be like sticking straight up into the air. So I'm gonna try to do a good job. But we'll see what happens. For the turbo IS. LS swap. LS swap. Twin turbo LS swap IS. Oh my god, I got too much to say. You gotta think about what you just said. What I'm doing now is I'm gonna attack the inside. So it would be kind of a good test. Did you turn the head on? Or the light on? Did you turn the... Oh, how do you do that? Open the... Right, here we go. Maybe I should grab oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> here we go again. Needs Whoa. Faster. Needs more heat. Um, more heat. It's not really penetrating, it just like starts stacking up a fat booger on there. It's not really penetrating into the metal. I thought you said port me. <laughs> yeah, oh, port me. Okay. I need my openings opened up bigger. What do you, what? Okay. All right, here we go. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Hold on. You ready? Yes, sir. Maybe I can clamp it down. Might pull it up. What are you looking? Good enough? Yeah. Maybe I should let it cool. Like, you think it would warp or something? I would. It's not that thick. It's permanently Maybe. attached to your table now. Yeah. <laughs> it actually looks, it's, it's shiny. Yeah, it actually looks good. It, it does look different than the, um, what's the other spool we used? The, On the exhaust? Like, just regular? Just a regular welding. You know. I don't know what they call it, but, yeah. Alright. It does kind of match, though. It does. Just it Sleeves. Okay, so this is the first one. It's not perfect, but it'll definitely hold. No, that's good. Yeah, good enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I feel like as time goes on, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting better and better over time. The more shit I will. Practice makes perfect, right? Yep. <laughs> this is painful. Well, you're wearing it, man. I'm not wearing the right clothes for this. It's looking good. The other one was, was nicer. <laughs> that is ugly. I don't look that bad, dude. <laughs> yeah, let's get some air. AC on. Can't breathe. Stop. Oh, 
What's up, boy? I'm sleepy. Shit, Tommy, I'm tired too. Today's Saturday. Mm -hmm. Well, here we have it. The bottom portion is what I MIG welded. Uh, top is TIG welded. That came like that. The V-band was already welded to this little elbow. Um, just goes to show how clean and tight TIG welding can be as opposed to MIG welding. It's not pretty, but it gets the job done. It's going to hold. It's not going to leak. It's going to do its job. It's just <laughs> not as easy on the eyes as TIG. So, I don't know. Eventually, I will get a TIG welder. But uh, for now, I'm just going to keep making everything because that's what I have access to. And it's easier. You know, there's, I gotta, there's a learning curve for TIG. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing. See you in the next video. Later.